So what are the strengths of a community radio station? Well, I think it's imperative that you embrace your local community. Uh, we, we aim to be a voice within the community. We're here to support and embrace and enrich the varied community life of, of Thanet because there are so many different people doing different things. And we try to place ourselves in a position where we can actually do as much as we can to help everybody that is doing things for the community. We go out, we do live outside broadcasts for the community. We support local charities we do everything we can to support good causes uh, and it's just about being informative and, and being a voice within the community some of the things that we've done over the months that we've been on air carnivals we've we've attended and supported local firework displays we've done varied varied outside broadcasts and we're doing one tomorrow actually based within the marlow academy here in ramsgate where we're actually going to broadcast a live assembly which will be presented by mr johnson the principal here and what we're basically doing is we're going to showcase some of the talent that we have within the uh marlow academy here through the, the assembly for the school students to actually see what some of the students have achieved uh, to perhaps uh, open the doors for some new 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 people to come join us what, what do you think they learn from working in a radio station the students oh the list is far too long uh, self-confidence the ability to speak and to better understand the use of the English language uh, to be confident I think it gives them a great deal of uh, self-esteem where it comes to speak speaking publicly not just on the radio but when you've mastered and got over the, the initial nerve stage to when you're actually speaking public or you're perhaps presenting to a group it gives you that confidence uh, and a great understanding of the, the technology that goes with it as well so what are the challenges in running a radio station like this uh, there are just so many uh, one of the most important things is because we are community radio stations Generally speaking, it's only the, the, the management team that are paid to run the radio station. So you very much depend on volunteers. You very much depend on the goodwill of many, many people to come in day in and day out and, uh, and offer their services. And of course, when people don't get paid to do such things, they're not always going to be as committed to it as perhaps somebody that's paid to, to be there full time. Uh, and finding good people that want to maintain a commitment to supporting the community, as we all do, it's a tall order it's a big ask but to actually have the people committed day in and day out to share the dream that everybody else has with the community radio services it's very difficult now you're you're commercial free you're not allowed to play any commercials so where does the money come from to run the radio station no that's a very difficult one um, yes we're commercial free we broadcast to over 50 percent of the kmfm's license in thanet so therefore there was a capping placed upon us to uh, stop us from being being able to take on commercial revenue so we as uh, a registered charity have to very 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 much rely on the goodwill of companies foundations any charitable groups that support community initiatives because you know we're knocking on people's doors all the time to try and help us finance these licenses the community radio stations are licensed for five years and for five years we have to be self-funding which is very very difficult we've we've worked very closely with the, the local councils uh, educational departments and so on and so forth but it is a very 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 big order keeping the stations financed we got some money from the big lottery fund awards for all we got some money from them so we want to say thank you to them for giving us some money to run the radio station last question are you happy with the station back at you sir are you happy with the radio station i'm very happy with the radio station <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure seriously i've worked with some incredible people i've met some incredible people i've developed relationships with students with teachers um i've carried out uh, uh, to the best of my ability the delivery of what i hope people see as a professional radio service for thanet because we had a lot of pressure to create and deliver that because of what was here before so you know it, it's been a lot of fun i'm i'm delighted and very proud and honored to work with such special people uh, and and long may it continue i'm very happy and i just hope the people of thanet are happy and enjoy what we do where do you think because we're coming up to the anniversary of the first year where do you think it's going to be next year what are you aiming to achieve next year well i'd like to involve as many people from within the community 
to use this vehicle for publicity um I, i'd like to continue training students i'd like to see I, it would be my absolute dream to find the next chris moyles from in within the, the marlow academy or one of the schools across. i remember Stanley. you saying that to me right at the very beginning yeah. I, can i tell you I, I, you know we found two or three stars in the making there are two or three youngsters there's one as young as 13 that presents his own show um three times a week and he will potentially have the ongoing talent to crack the radio industry as he matures in life um and if i can find another chris moores i've told them all as they come in and train with us through the door that i expect 10 percent when they become rich and famous <laughs> um but just to give back what i've learned i mean i've been in radio for 20 odd years and i've worked at many many radio stations across the uk but to give back on something that was created within my my own patch where i live uh, and see it becoming such a, a well-supported medium, that's enough for me. Thank and you very much, Pete. Thank pleasure. you.